Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to build out else statements using make code from Minecraft Education. So in this one we're going to look at how we can use else statements when we are having a code and using Microsoft make code in Minecraft. So in this scenario here, we have a question, a maths question that we need to answer. We need to either put down if we think it's 10 or 12, and if we get it right, this passage here will fill with air and we can progress to the next section. And so what we're basically gonna say for the player is that they have to put a block down under the answer that they think is correct. And if they get it right, um, the door will open and then our else is if they get it wrong We'll tell them that they got it wrong and they have to try again So we need to start by opening make code So by either pressing C on your keyboard or if you're on an iPad that little agent icon up in the top middle of your screen and So as we said we want them to place a block in order for this to happen So we're going to use this one here. We're going to use on place and we need to specify the block that they want to use. And I do normally recommend when you're doing this, use kind of like quite a unique block. And if you want to do this in a series, use one that has multiple different types. So for example, I'm going to use this frog light because there are three different colors of it. So I could use it in three different scenarios. So let's use this first one here. And then we need to build out our conditions because this whole thing is conditional. It's all based on what the player decides to do. So here in our logic, we're going to grab one of our conditional statements, but we're learning about adding in this else component. So we're going to grab this one and we're going to pop that inside. Now, the very first thing we have to do is, well, what makes this statement true? What is the trigger for it? So in this case, we, let's focus on the answer, getting the answer right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use test for. So over here, we have this test for block at a position. So let's pop that in there where true is. And we obviously want to test for the frog, the frog layout light. Um, so let's grab that one again. So we're gonna search for it that one and we need to say specifically where that is okay so in this case <clears throat> it's that exact world position so I kind of have these ready to go but if you're building this out basically like you just have to stand on top of these two blocks because that's where they're gonna go and you write down those coordinates that are in the top left hand corner of the screen so I've got these ready to go. Now they're not relative, so we need to specify a world position. So here we grab the world position. We swap it over, okay? Now the correct answer is uh, 491.33 minus 15. That's the position, okay? Now, if we get that right, we want to basically fill the doorway with air and let's also pop in a message saying correct. So let's do that one first because that's easy. So here in gameplay, we're gonna go show title or subtitle, popping that in. So to the nearest player is fine. And so let's just write correct, okay? Um, we might even write here, uh, the door is open, whatever you like, okay? So we've got that in. But the next thing we need to do is we need to fill the doorway or we need to open up the doorway. So if we look at what I'm talking about here is this space here. So again, in order to do, do this, you would have to knock these out, okay? Um, <clears throat> and to do that, you will need to go enter forward slash WB. So you've just got that control. Um, and stand underneath and you can write down those coordinates. So 494.32 minus 15, and then it'll also be one above it. So instead of 32, it'll be 33. Let's place those back. So let's do that. 
So we need to fill that space. So again, here in blocks, we go fill, pop that in. We don't want to fill it with grass blocks. We want to fill it with air. So we swap that over and we're going to specify those world positions. Okay, so it was uh, 494, 32, minus 15. And then I find it easy just to duplicate that. You can go grab it again if you want. It's 494, but we also want to do one above it because there's two blocks, so 33 minus 15. Okay, now that's our correct answer. Okay, so if we place it at that position, it'll say correct, the door is open, and we'll fill that doorway with air. The else part is the wrong answer. Okay, so when the player puts places a block, but they place it in the wrong position. Okay, so in this case, they're going to choose between the two. So we don't need to necessarily specify the location because we only really need to specify the correct location because they've only got two places that they can possibly put it. So in this case here, we're going to go to and uh, choose show again, place that there, and we're gonna go maybe wrong, um, try again. But something that's important here is that because every time we place a block, it's gonna run, or we're gonna we place this colored frog light, it's gonna run this code. We need to make sure the block's no longer there because if it's still there, it will um, it'll kind of think to itself, well, it's sitting in the wrong spot. So we just want to clear it out. So the player's made the wrong choice. So we just want to, again, fill. So just like we did before, but we want to fill the space where the incorrect answer goes. So the incorrect answer, if I go to world, is it's not quite this one it's the one uh next to it okay so in this case what we're going to do is duplicate this one okay so that can get cleared out and then we also want to do the space next to it as well which is just instead of 491 it's 492 Okay, and the rest remains the same, minus 15. Okay, so there is our code completed. So what it's saying is that when a frog light is placed, if a frog light is at this exact world position, then say to the player, correct, the door is open, and fill the doorway with air. Else, show the nearest player wrong with the subtitle try again, and fill that space where either correct answer can go with air. There are two options. So if we jump out and let's go over. Now we will, you will need to make getting the frog light part of the gameplay as well. Maybe the NPC can give it to them. Okay, you could use what we learned previously, like just like a test for, they could pass through something and it just gives it to them. It could be sitting in a chest, whatever you want to do, but I am going to grab the frog light that we need. Okay. And if I, so for instance, if I place it here, it goes wrong, try again. And look, I've already got an error. So you know why? Because I haven't changed this to air. There we go. Let's try that again. So if I place this down, it'll go wrong, try again. And as you can see where I placed that incorrect answer, it's then filled with air, okay? But if I go to the other one, it will say correct, the doorway is open and our doorway there has opened up, allowing us to go through, okay? So that is how we can build out an if then else statement using Minecraft and MakeCode. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you build out your own little gaming scenarios and we will see you again soon. Cheers.